Hey guys, uh, I'm Alara Art and I'm creating another uh, uh, audio uh, podcast, if you will, of just the, my work as an illustrator, uh, comic book uh, creator, uh, creating content, as well as, uh, you know, uh, creating uh, consistent material. Uh, welcome guys. Uh, I am on, um, say my like ninth episode. I know my episodes are kind of like uh, wonky and up and down, but this is definitely something that, uh, as for myself personally, is to create more content, if you will. Today, I want to just go over uh, talking about how one has the fire in the belly to be a creator, uh, creator content of like any type of art, uh, rather it be in, in, the, in the scene of making comic books or even to, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's just uh, being a consistent uh, um, a monster, if you will. But uh, more so is having that fire in your belly, as I use that in, in uh, a lot of my lingo. No, it's not indigestion. No, it's not heartburn. Uh, but a little bit of uh, uh, apple cider vinegar never hurts. So um, with that, uh, it's uh, February. We are in uh, uh, the winter time and here in the Midwest of Chicago. There's a lot of snow and uh, we are still in quarantine so that's the picture that uh we are in right now so um yeah uh a lot's been going on uh with me as far as uh, being creative uh, uh personal uh you know uh, with family uh we had a loss very um uh it's very uh how do i put the word uh, having lost uh, my mom is uh, one of the things that just to uh, take a toll, especially, um, you know, for a person that uh, I would say 100% like uh, my number one, um, like, uh, you know, your, your, your hero that, you know, she's like there and stuff like that. So, Enough, enough of that uh, silly mushiness. Uh, love you, mom. Um, but yeah, there's just been a lot of uh, things that's just been going on. Uh, creating, working on comic books, uh, working on independent uh, material. And uh, if you guys have been following, you guys know that I'm working on the third book for Power Punch Bootcamp with the very, very awesome Ellie Elginton. And book, this next book that's going to be our third book together is actually going to be called The Power Punch Book 2. So uh, though it's our third book together, this is actually a follow-up from the previous book. So I know it sounds kind of wacky, but um, yeah, it's, it's going to be fun. It's going to be uh, more, more characters. Uh, it's it's going to be silly. It's going to be crazy. Uh, I love the characters that are involved in it. I love the model sheet uh, that uh, both Ellie and I uh, came up with and what to incorporate and we can't wait for you guys to see. So stay tuned for that for our 2021. Uh, yeah, it's so odd to say that uh, year, that number, because with so much with uh, 2020, but uh, being optimistic and being creative is the key to go. So with that, uh, start of the year, you know, still cranking out uh, interior art for the book. Also creating uh, freelance work. A lot of my work is a lot of uh, branding logos, uh, a lot of um, clients that require wire summertime illustration the you know these guys and gals are ahead of the schedule of just having me work 
on uh, illustrations that will look like the pertain for summer. So as I'm drawing this, I look out the window and it's snowing, it's cold, there's a polar bear walking by. Uh, not really, um, but it's, it's just one of those things. So that's my gig. I'm also doing storyboards. I'm excited for one project that's, I'm excited of all of it, but it's a bit of a surreal bucket list of just being able to be asked to contribute to a, uh, a Warner Brothers uh, property. And it's, it's way off of what anybody would guess it would be, but still to start off the year of creating a uh, an art piece for this uh, Warner Brothers uh, property. I'm very wild and it's surreal. So, but yeah, um, start of the start start of the year, start of the first month. Now we are in the second, uh, just creating. But yeah, um, enough about that and about about me on that. My my thing is is basically is talking about this uh, fire in the belly. Uh, the furnace just to keep you motivated and active and your want. The reason mainly for my babbles that lead to this uh, audio podcast is basically uh, I get asked and I mentioned this in previous uh, conversations of podcasts. I get asked like, how do I do this or how do I get into that? Uh, how do I, uh, you know, wanting to do what they think I do that looks fun. And I want to say, what is it you want to do? So if you see that I create content and I'm being consistent, just make consistent content. And and don't, literally, I'm jumping the gun right now, is don't try to do it for others, do it for yourself, if that makes sense. So uh, four or five-year-old Alero art was just drawing, drawing Sesame Street characters. I'm an 80s baby, so I'm, I'm, a, I'm an old guy. So, you know, drawing Knight Rider cars, Transformer robots, Voltron lions. I know they're cars too, but you know, I grew up with the lions, so represent. Um, but yeah, Trans or Z later on, you know, Ninja Turtles. And this is just an amalgam of all these things that makes up uh, who I, who Lyra Art is. And there's certainly music that it involves, there's television. There's movies, and for a person to ask, "What do I do?" so they can do that. Uh, your your fire in your belly isn't the same as mine, but you should have what makes yours. A lot of the people that are asking these questions, I tell them, I said, "I don't think you, I don't think you grew up in this time era." But you no, know, total respect to you to want you know what you see that a person does an example as me again i always do a disclaimer i don't have the all the answers i'm not but if you ask me my opinion about stuff and i just try to give you that direction now uh, if it helps you awesome if it doesn't um Go and, you know, you keep searching. I'm a firm believer in learning from people and then adding a little bit and then making your own uh, entity. And that's what I would love to see. I never want any of my students that are making uh, creator content or making art to have a set uh, bar what I do because they are going to do they're old they're gonna create more and as a person that if I'm looked up to you should want that if if I have these mentors that I look up to I would just imagine that they would want me to do that if is it I don't know but for myself speaking 
I believe, you know, shoot for the stars, shoot farther, try to do different things. So being your own um, entity and brand, you know, it's, 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 it is work. It's fun. It's pain. It's, it's a love. It's a hate. It's, uh, it's these things that will make up you as an individual. Um, but I, again, I will get people that will say, I just want to do the simple things. I don't want to work at it. And it kills me when it's adults that say that. And when I say adults, I'm saying like, you're already in the form of establishing who you are and you're married and you have kids and now you have the the itch to want to make content and I just say, well, you have to work on it. And I get this weird look that they don't, you know, they don't want to have to put in the hours. You don't want to stay up late. You don't, you know, you don't want this to affect your routine of uh, missing your favorite Hulu, Netflix, Disney Plus show. Uh... I I don't know like unless it's not affecting me that I am the person I I'm only giving you my two cents and I will not be following you behind to say are you are you doing it are you doing it because I uh, I can't I have had somebody who's you know married and has their their house and their family and they saw that I make comics and that they knew me as the guy in school that was creating Mm -hmm. content of comics and they felt like uh, I would be their answer to get back into drawing and that belly in that belly in you that's on fire that person's um, was a creative person in school and uh, he had this unique or her because you know I don't know who whoever will try to think or whatever that it's pertaining but <clears throat> this person um, had this awesome skill with different uh, artistic medias of using paints and using sculpting and was a musician and fast forward asking me like they need my help to get back into you know, making art, I basically was stumped because, you know, that's not my path. My path is my path. And though I do workshops and I teach all ages in creating content, I can give you words that you could go by, but at the end of the day, you have to. And it's weird to say, to say this is that, you know, uh, there's still plenty of time. There's no uh, timer and being creative but my last conversation was nah, I'm just gonna stop so to so that person I you know wish them the best but it's definitely uh, a fire in the belly and that we should be our own um, pilots in charge which hey um n- I, I wasn't there to tell you to get married. I didn't tell you to get your house. I didn't tell you to have this. I didn't tell you that because that's that was your plan. So for me to tell you that, you know, help you with your art, you know, I can give you the advice of like, you know, put in the hours. You love watching your favorite shows, but at the end of the day, is it um, the thing that's going to help you get better? And... For them, they just felt very uh, the an- that 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 was the answer. So they don't they don't want to hear that it's it's hard work. And later on, I get um, 
people that I run into again and they ask, what do I do? I'm like, well, I'm doing branding and I'm creating. And the, to, 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 to paint this picture is I imagine that person having a little notepad, which they, everyone who talks to me always has that. But they're trying to figure out what is the, the, the easy answer. So I said, you have to put in hours. You have to work at your craft. You have to learn your tools. Though the tools help, it doesn't define you. So if you can't afford certain programs, as long as you could use the things that help you get there, that's 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 uh, important. And I see a lot of likes and wants, but they don't, but they don't want the hard work and the the what's the word I'm looking for is to be able to you know get them to the level you know nobody nobody wants to, what's the this is one that always sticks out of my head it's the hen in the farm asking these other animals to help you know get you know gather all the the wheat you know uh, make the wheat into a uh, flour and getting it put together and then prepping it and these are things where people are like nope I won't nope I won't but when everything is said and done and it, the, the 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 person who does the work and I'm talking about them uh, like as if the analogy goes to making the bread is once it's all said and done and it smells great everybody on that farm stuck their hands out and wanted uh, a piece but then you know the the hen looked and said well I did the work I did this and all that labor and sweat and uh, pain you know comes in in the form of what the reward is and now you know the piece is bigger the things and you know, I, 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 I don't know if it's taught in school or not, if it's related in this form, but it has to, it has to come from you. And if you can't afford school, you know, we're in this age of YouTube, you can learn, you can learn um, tricks and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm of this uh, part of my journey where I get a lot of head turns of asking of like, well, you're doing it. I could do this too. And that's cool. You, you can do it, but you're not going to do it how, how I do it. I have my blinders on. And what I mean by that is like, I'm not looking at other people as far as like, oh, you know, they're, they're better than me. And I, I crossed that out already as uh, I'm just got I just got to do me. And I try to explain that to my uh, my kiddos that I teach workshops to and I said it's always great to see uh, things for like competition because I love I love that I'm like if you're gonna draw that I'm gonna draw this and that's cool but still do it for yourself and for these adults that are you know wanting things because it's uh, likes and gratification we need to get better at that because at the end of the day, wanting something because they see others that they, they do it again. That's that's not your um, fire in your belly. That's someone else's. And for me, you know, I wish that person all the best. But you know, if if you look at their post and they're not posting because consistent posting of their work, but you know, sitting back and hashtag hashtag and this is my favorite hashtag and living the best life and you have your hand holding a beer and you're watching uh whatever popular show that everybody's talking about but not put it in the work but wanting what other people are doing that's that's the problem you need to turn that around if you want to work on your craft instead of spending eight hours of watching something why don't you make eight hours of your work or if you're working a job 
And when you get home, try to put in an extra, you know, put in an hour of work. I'm not saying, again, a disclaimer, because, you know, I speak for myself and I'm not speaking for others, is when I work uh, office jobs, I put in two, three hours at night on my own comic books. And though it, a lot of it was, you know, not polished and it was errors and this and that that's that's the grid of making your own own material but over time you learn key commands you learn the shortcuts learn how to do it but then make your own uh blueprint if you will but you know you could tr- you could share things with people but at the same time do these things for yourself and that belly fire that, that 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 goes inside of you that makes you want to be this creative monster. I, you know, I have my days where I'm not motivated, but I'll look into, you know, and you know, I, I, I will try to watch stuff like on TV and watch a movie, but. I'm, my brain is always like wired for for creating. Even though I'm not physically making stuff, I'll I'll look up uh, artists, look up artwork, look up art mediums, play music, play music that motivates me, music that was from an era that you know started stuff that how I got into creating art in the first place. And those are examples, but. You know, you should you should definitely look at who you are in creating your 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 brand and your content. And if you're the if you want to be labeled that you're an artist, then you know, be prepared and ready to be hard headed and not listen. And if you're doing it for other people to get like a, a check mark, a thumbs up, or whatever and that's your motivation then that's what you that's what you're going for be prepared to have days when those algorithms flip the script on you where people say hey uh, I'm not getting the traffic that I'm getting is you know can I get you guys to, like be prepared for that but if you're are true to yourself and not to say the algorithm thing is uh, uh, a thing because it is and I believe it be prepared to say well I guess I didn't get a hundred likes on this little uh, elbow I drew maybe I have to go back and you have to look in to other forms just to keep yourself creative and it goes back to that are you doing it for that or are you doing it for yourself for me you you lose the numbers but the thing for me is, is that I'm always going to be creating content. I'm going to be making my material regardless if people are in my life or aren't. Me creating my own character like Alley Cat. I'm doing Alley Cat for myself because he's my alter ego. He's this mischievous uh, cat that does mischievous things and he's funny and he's silly to me. So I create that and when other people want to I call it, call it knockoff alley cat like some guy drew a cat but he had him vomiting game of rainbow uh, he knows who he is he know what he did and it's just like why are you you know not telling the person like why are you doing this but if you assume if it's working for me it's gonna work for you and you're just like yeah okay yeah there really is there's you get people that will mimic what you're doing and just to write that so that's for another uh audio podcast but um you wanting to do stuff because it's it's in you and it should be your motivation and i am all about supporting people of wanting to see their dreams manifest but at the same time, I'm looking at what I have to do to, to manifest my dreams to go further. I, I love wearing hats 
when I wear hats, it's one day I'm doing comic books and next day I'm doing logos and other times I'm doing concept storyboards. Uh, I'm doing making portraits, but I'm, I'm the person that's, you know, being art directing and other times I'm part of a team and playing my part to make the project work. So I, I could only just, like I said, speak that for myself. But again, it goes back to what's inside of me. What's my, my desire of to push uh, the fire in me. And when I say, say that, it's, it's, it's definitely a, an important uh, uh, thing that I always try to walk away from of letting, letting people know who a literal art is and what am I about I love that when people are are consistent I love I love that but at the same time I am 100% uh, feel that I've been placed here to create uh, content it's before I was born and the, the time comes uh, it will be stated there that this is why a literal art existed and it's my personal belief and it's what I feel and think that's what I go about in, in that and it's this little this little fire that started that now it's manifested that you have to you know have it grow it, and anybody who is creative you know, has that spark in them, and it's not other people's sparks, it's the spark that, that makes you, like I said, mine is, you know, cartoons, and comic books, and my, my cookie family, and uh, things that I love growing up, that I incorporate, so, I, I just wanted to do an audio on that, I, I know one of the things explaining the, the material that I do, I just want to show a form of clarity of we all, though we do something different, we're all trying to find, whether it be music or it being the arts of comics or cartooning or muralism, so I don't know if that's a word, or making a uh, things that you have to believe in first that come from yourself so you have to be 100 percent uh ready and if you're telling telling a person out loud that you just don't want to work hard then you failed dude you failed uh miserably in setting up yourself for for that so you know you want the likes you want all these things but you know you gotta get ready so I don't know <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap this up uh, I enjoy creating content I enjoy creating material that makes up a little art and being consistent I enjoy teaching workshops to show all ages how to make stories in a comic book form. I enjoy being a creative individual that has this way of talking to people, which is storytelling, that though I live here in the Midwest in Chicago, someone in South Korea or in Germany or France can look and say, hey, that touched me, that made me laugh by a picture. And that example mentioned was, you know, my character Alley Cat. I love that and that's just something, you know, I enjoy that people can connect to. Um, I don't have the answers to tell a person what they should be doing. 
I could only give my two cents as a uh, discretion of you're going to walk away and you're going to be able to know your answer too. All I can say is do it. Be motivated. If it's if it makes you makes you stronger and it builds for you and it's and it involve people to support it and even if they doesn't support it as long as you do it for yourself is what I would want for you to to do. So it goes back to that 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 fire in you that you should want to to create. So um, I think you guys, I'm a little art. I am a comic book illustrator. I am a workshop and workshop comic book artist teacher. Say that five times. I am a person that creates content that I want people to see that, you know, if you can't use it in words, maybe you can use it in pictures. I am, that's who I am and that's what my brand is. And I just want, you know, in this, these tough times and these weird times, positivity of, I know not everything's going to be sunshine and, and uh, rose petals, but if you could find something to do, you know, make a character, you know, write something, play a song, write poetry, uh, create an outfit, something, but, you know, do something that helps instead of taking, if that makes sense. Um, I'm going to end that with that. So I'm on, I'm on Instagram and Twitter. Everything that I create is Alero Art. My website is aleroart.com. If you guys want to support my Patreon, I have a Patreon account. I have a patreon.com slash art. All support is welcome and cancel anytime. Uh, my minimum amount is a dollar and you guys can, you know, you know, uh, contribute it as long as you can and possible. Me creating my Patreon account helps with uh, material in my work using software, uh, helping with uh, audio. I'm, as I'm learning, I'm not an uh, engineer. 100% respect for people who have that down pack. You guys are awesome. I just use my phone and my headsets and I just want to share if this is something that you guys are going through and just have questions. So I post these up there on my Patreon and I share them. Um, let people know. If you guys want to ask me questions, I'm happy to answer. I'm on Twitter again. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Instagram. You guys can find me a little art. And my website is aliroart.com. So I'm going to end this and say have a good time, good day. Good week. Uh, be optimistic. L- look uh, for op- you know optimism and positivity. So, talk to you guys soon. Take care. Peace out. Bye.